expected value. It's important to note that this is different to expected frequency. In many cases, it can be useful to calculate the average or mean outcome of an experiment. This is referred to as expected value. The expected value, or EX, is the average outcome of an experiment. So remember, expected value is different to expected frequency. To calculate the expected value, we multiply every possible outcome by the probability for that outcome occurring, and then add these values together. The table below shows expected value of a die roll. So the outcome being one, so remember on a die we have six different outcomes that are possible, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if our outcome is one, it's going to be 1 multiplied by 1 over 6, because the probability of landing on a 1 is 1 over 6, which is 1 over 6. The outcome is 2. 2 multiplied by 1 over 6 is 2 over 6. The outcome is 3. 3 multiplied by 1 over 6 is 3 over 6. The outcome is 4. 4 multiplied by 1 over 6 is 4 over 6. 5 multiplied by 1 over 6 is 5 over 6. 6 multiplied by 1 over 6 is 6 over 6. So this is a little formula that you can use. So expected value is the sum of the outcome multiplied by the probability of the outcome. So adding these values together gives us the expected value EX. So it's going to be a sixth plus two sixths plus three sixths plus four sixths plus five sixths plus six sixths. And that together gives us 3.5. The expected value does not have to be an actual outcome. The expected value of a die roll is 3.5. So we just worked that out a second ago on the table. Consider playing a game where each roll of a die paid out that value in euro. For example, if 2 is rolled, then 2 euro is 1. If 3 is rolled, 3 euro is 1. If 4 is rolled, 4 euro is 1, and so on. We would expect to win, on average, €3.50 per game. We can use expected value to determine whether an experiment is fair or not, and whether a bet is good or bad value. In general, if the expected value is greater than zero, we would expect to gain that amount. If the expected value of a game is €10, Euro, then we would expect to win 10 euro per game on average. If the expected value is equal to zero, then the game is fair. We are equally likely to win or lose. If the expected value of a game is zero euro, then we would expect to win zero euro per game on average. If the expected value is less than zero, we would expect to lose that amount. If the expected value of a game is minus three euro, then we would expect to lose three euro per game on average, and so on. The spinner shown is used to play a game. The game costs five euro to play. A player wins whatever amount the spinner lands on. So they can win six euro, four euro, or two euro. But remember, it costs five euro to play. Calculate the expected value. Would you advise a person to play this game? Just a fire answer. Okay, so let's calculate the expected value. We fill in the following table. So we want to calculate the expected value. So we have a column representing the outcome, a column representing the probability, and we're going to multiply. So the outcome being four euro, so we can see that this pink sector of the circle is a quarter of the circle. So the probability of landing on the pink sector is 1 over 4. So 4 euro multiplied by a quarter is 1 euro. The next outcome is 6 euro. So that's the blue sector. We can see that half of the circle 
is this blue sector, so the probability of landing on this blue sector is a half. So 6 euro multiplied by a half is 3 euro. And then 2 euro is the last outcome, so this green sector here we can see is a quarter of the circle. So the probability of landing on this green sector is a quarter. So 2 euro multiplied by a quarter is 50 cents. So 1 euro plus 3 euro plus 50 cent is 4 euro 50. So remember we add up our amounts. We must now include the fact that the game costs 5 euro to play. So 4 euro 50 which is what we expect to win minus the 5 euro which is the cost of the game leaves us with minus 50 cent. So our expected value is minus 50 cent. So part two, would you advise a person to play this game? Justify your answer. As we would expect to lose 50 cent per game on average, this is not good value. Therefore, I would advise the person not to play the game. So if we had ended up with a positive expected value, so if the, we would expect to gain 50 cent or gain 2 euro or gain 3 euro 50, or something along those lines, then we would advise the person to play the game. But since we are expected to make a loss on this game, we would advise the person to not play the game.